As a classical liberal, which is what I am, there are very few issues more important to me than free speech. Because without free speech, you don't have classical liberalism, you don't have democracy, you don't have debate, as we've had for years within the United States of America. And I think no candidate fully grasps how much that principle of free speech is under attack as it is now, other than Vivek Ramaswamy. Vivek gets it. And he's recently released that video. I hope that you will watch it. I hope you will watch this video to the end. Listen to what Vivek says, because it's quite astounding, actually. Just listen, and I hope you listen to him in the debate, and I'm wishing Vivek the best of luck. I wondered why, because actually a number of friends texted me saying they follow me on LinkedIn, that's how they keep up. They weren't able to find me anymore. And so when I had my team get in touch with LinkedIn, here's the response that we got. I'm not kidding, I'm reading from this. Your account was restricted for sharing content that contains misleading or inaccurate information. They said what it was. One was a video where in the video I said, the CCP is playing the Biden administration like a Chinese mandolin. China has weaponized the woke pandemic to stay one step ahead and it's working. That was the first offense. The second offense was one where I said that if the climate religion was really about climate change, then they'd be worried about shifting oil production from the US to places like Russia and China. Yet the climate religion and its apostles in the ESG movement have a very different objective. That was my second offense. And apparently my third strike was to say this, the climate agenda is a lie. Fossil fuels are a requirement for human prosperity. Those are my three strikes. That got me censored on LinkedIn. This is staggering. And so then we then push back and what do we say? We actually got specifics on how we're actually, oh, hate speech, misinformation and violence. Those were the policies that I was actually violating. Now, I got a kick out of this, I'm gonna be honest. I'm sure that we're gonna get this escalated because I'm a US presidential candidate. We have the connectivity to the people that we need to talk to to be able to get my LinkedIn account back. But I'm not bringing this about because it's about me. I'm bringing this up because if they can do it to me, they can really do it to anybody for making statements about the climate change movement and agenda in this country that are grounded in fact, and then express an opinion based on those facts to make a statement about Biden's relationships with China and criticize his China policies as a result. To say that that's gonna be characterized as misinformation, hate speech and violence per LinkedIn's terms of service. This is a Microsoft owned companies. It shows what's going on in this country. These aren't really the actions of private companies. These are so-called privately held companies or publicly traded private companies that are doing the work of the government through the back door, silencing speech that the government would never dare censor, could never censor under the constitution, but use the back door of tech companies to get it done instead. That's even more dangerous than direct government censorship in many ways because it is a hybrid of corporate power and state power together doing what neither one of them could do on their own. That's really what this is about. So I'm not worried about me. I'll get my LinkedIn account back, I'm sure. And if not, I'll still be fine, believe me. I'm doing it because it's a symptom of how deep this cancer has run in our country. And believe me, we will stop at nothing in restoring free speech in our country, in restoring internet freedoms in our country. I've been writing about these issues for several years. I was actually one of the first people in this country to expose the way government was colluding with big tech to get done through the back door. It's dirty work. And so it seems like karma that they've come back and actually punished me for it in the form of censoring my speech about climate change and about China policy. But believe me, I'm not going to stay censored. We're going to get this done through the national revival that we're leading starting next year.